what is up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nikki if you are new this is life with nick and i do videos on business lifestyle fashion everything atlanta so as you guys see in the title below i am back with another atlanta edition video this is something that is highly requested on my channel and something that i've already done three times already so this is actually part four of the affordable atlanta apartment list and in this video today, I'm going to actually talk about the suburb of Duluth. In my first few videos, you guys noticed that I kind of just hit random apartments throughout the whole state of Georgia versus now when I do my videos, I want to pick a specific suburb that I'm going to talk about, which is today going to be Duluth. So before we get into that, and I tell you guys anything about Duluth as a city itself, if you guys have not already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl, turn on that notification bell, and let's begin. Okay, so give you, to give you guys a little backstory, of my relationship with Duluth I literally just put up in Duluth for the first time like last week and knew what it was I had never actually really seen Duluth for what it was um before then and when I seen it I was like look this looks like a nice place to live I'm actually in, like I said in my last video I'm actually in the process of trying to find a new apartment for myself so when I was out there I was really pleased with it just because it has so much to offer like it's so many different plazas like with different shopping stores like I seen a plaza that literally had a TJ Maxx and a Marshalls and Five Below, Plato's Closet, all that stuff in the same plaza. So Duluth is the place to be. And most of the time, you are only going to have to drop about five to six minutes to get to a plaza, which is like so good for me. And not only that, they actually have pretty decent school ratings, which is hard to do nowadays. It's hard to get a really good school rating, as well as Duluth is really good for, you know, families and really family oriented suburbs so with that being said i am going to start on with my list all of the apartments that i'm listing in today's video are going to be 13 50 and under i definitely try to hit it with a budget just because i know how that is you know when you um when you are on a budget not everybody is making money like that not everybody is just able to afford two thousand three thousand dollar apartments so i'm just here to give you guys this list so to start off, we are going to talk about Gwinnett Square Apartments. Gwinnett Square Apartments is obviously located in Duluth. And this one actually starts at $1,253 a month. And I was like, that's kind of like, that's not bad at all. I've definitely seen worse. And this is for a one bedroom apartment. So it's going to be $1,253. And for that, you know, this threw me at a loop. But some people, you know, if you're out there, you might be interested. I'm going to mention it anyways. This is going to be 400 in square feet, which I feel is very tiny. The apartment that I'm in right now is literally 1,200 square feet. So it's literally like one third of what my apartment is right now. But like I said in my last video, not everybody is coming here to just have all the space in the world. You may just want to start off by just getting here and then move on from there. So $1,253, 406 square feet. This is a gated community. It has a tennis court, a playground, a pool, a clubhouse, and all the other stuff. Do not sleep on the clubhouses because when 4th of July and stuff comes and you're not able to go home to visit your family, you might be posted in that clubhouse celebrating 4th of July or New Year's or whatever it is with your apartment, the people that live in your apartment community. So this one is going to be Gwinnett Square Apartments. Gwinnett square apartments is going to be $1,253 and it starts off at 406 square feet. I love the amenities. Um, I noticed when I was looking at the pictures, this, this complex is located by kind of like a little lake thing, which is nice, nice little vibe. You know, if you ever want to go on a walk, if you have dogs or whatever that is. So check out Gwinnett's Square Apartments for $1,253 a month. So next we're going to talk about Autumn Vista. This one is 3.2 stars on Google, and this one is going for a one bedroom at $1,362. And this one is actually a little bit higher than the previous one I mentioned in square footage. This one is 696 square feet. So it's still not at that 1,000, but for a one bedroom, I feel like that is pretty normal. And for $1,362, that is also normal here in Duluth. Um, this complex had a really nice balcony. I was like, look, a balcony is like a must for me. So I know that a lot of people do require a balcony. They had nice hardwood floors, stainless steel part, uh, appliances. Me personally, the Autumn Vista is one that I would personally move into or, you know, go tour or whatever. Because it's something that I like. You know, it's really minimal but elegant at the same time. I feel like hardwood floors and like that stainless steel appliances is like the perfect combination 
So check out Autumn Vista Apartments in Duluth for $1,362, three point star rating, 696 square feet. I am gonna list all of these apartments that I am talking about in my description. So just, I'm gonna list them as I go. So the first one is gonna be the Gwinnett Square Apartments and then you're gonna see Autumn Vista listed. So go ahead and if you get lost, follow me with that in the description. So next we're gonna talk about the Eclipse, which I was like, I like that name. It made me think of Twilight. But the Eclipse is around the same price as the Gwinnett Square Apartments and it's gonna be $1,283 for one bedroom. This one though has 4.1 stars on Google, which I personally feel like it's so hard to find sometimes. Like it's really hard to come across an apartment that has really good reviews, especially down here. Like, look, Atlanta be the hood sometimes. So coming across that, I was honestly surprised because I was like, look, like that's that's honestly not too bad. But 4.1 stars for the eclipse. $1,283 a month. And this one is actually going to be 650 square feet. Um, and then what I noticed also is for the amenities, it comes with a fireplace, which I feel like is nice, especially around the um, Christmas and holiday season. You know, you can have your vibe with your wine. So check out the Eclipse for $1,283. The highest rating um, that we have talked about so far at the 4.1 stars, 650 square feet, has a washer and dryer in units in a fireplace. Like this one, this is probably number one on my list so far. So, so far we have talked about Gwinnett Square Apartments, which is the first one for $12.53. Autumn Vista Apartments, which is the second one for $13.62. The Eclipse, which is $12.83 and has 4.1 stars. So... Next, we're going to talk about Summit Station. So Summit Station um, is going to be going for $1,279. Summit Station, $1,279. Um, and this one, the reviews isn't the best. It's at 2.8 stars. Um, and this apartment is 710, excuse me, square feet. Which I feel like is like, that's like the highest square footage that we talked about. And for a one bedroom apartment, 710 square feet is pretty normal. You can find a little bit higher, but on average, that is pretty normal for what you're going to get. So this one also comes with a fireplace. It has an alarm system, which I was like, look, like my apartment right now I don't even have no alarm system. It also comes with cable and they have really large closets. Like if you look on the website, you'll see that their closets are like the bomb. Okay. Like they're literally like walk-in closets. So Summit Station in Duluth is going to be $1,279, 2.8 stars, 710 square feet. Like I said, it has that huge closet and that fireplace and everything that you need to just be a baddie. Okay. So next, we're going to talk about Ivana Courts. I was a little lost at this one because I know that there are a few apartments in Georgia overall that has the word Ivana in it. But this one is actually going to be located, obviously, in Duluth. And it also has a court at the end. So it's Ivana Courts. This one is the highest price that we talked about so far, but not too high. So this one is actually going for $1,358 for a one bedroom. And the reason that is, is because it is 720 square feet. So it's $1,358. 720 square feet and it also has 2.8 stars just like the summit station but compared to summit station this one has an extra 10 square feet within the apartment and then it's also um just a few extra dollars so not bad a little bit um a little less than a hundred dollars um a month and this one actually has two swimming pools i was like that is lit like where i live also does not have two swimming pools um a fitness center a tennis court in a cafe on site usually when they say cafe don't get it twisted it's not like they have a whole restaurant where you can go sit down what that means is that usually in the morning you know if you want to go grab coffee before you go to work the lisa office will offer like a nice little coffee or like cappuccino station so that's something that i like you know what i mean in the morning if you don't have time to make coffee or you don't have a job that has coffee there you can always just go stop in the court um the house and whatever and get the the little cafe so next we are going to talk about Amber Lake Village. Amber Lake Village is the cheapest apartment on this list. This is probably the one that I should have talked about the first, but here we are. Amber Lake Village is going for $1,200 solid a month. And this one actually does not have the apartments listed on the website. So I actually have to physically call to get a quote. But this one is going for $1,200. And this one is 
800 square feet so i feel like this one out of all the apartments you're kind of getting like the most out of it because not only is it the cheapest but it also has the most square footage and this one is actually three stars on google which i was like that's not too bad you know what i mean um i think the apartment that i live in right now is like three stars people down here can get really picky and i feel like people get mad you know what i mean with apartments and sometimes they go on there but i would pay attention to the reviews just not too much but amber lake village 1200 dollars a month three stars 800 square feet it's like just perfect and then this one has a private balcony which most of them do wood floors stainless steel appliances and it's just an overall catch so you can literally click on when you go on the website look at the gallery and everything but like i said you will not be able to go and look at the prices like you can with the rest of the, of the apartments that i mentioned so last but not least, we are going to talk about Bridgewater Apartments. Bridgewater Apartments, obviously in Duluth, is going to be three or $1,300. So Bridgewater Apartments, $1,300 is going to be the last one that I'll leave in my description box. $1,300, 3.3 three stars which i was like this is the second highest review apartment and this one is actually going to be 903 square feet which i feel like is huge for a one bedroom that's giving you plenty of space so even if you don't have a second bedroom somewhere in that apartment you should be able to create some kind of a, like an office space for yourself you know if you work from home or if you just need an at-home office i don't even work from home i work with kids but i still have an at-home office so if you need that just that space for whatever it is 903 square feet is plenty of space and then the great thing about this one i have a dog i was like it has a dog park swimming pools um event lounge and a, it's a gated community so all of the ones that i actually mentioned on this list are gated most apartments that you find in georgia are going to be um gated but i'm going to go through the list again that way you guys are not confused about anything that i say i know that i talk fast so i'm hoping that you guys kept up with me but now we're going to go through the list so first of all we talked about gwinnett square apartments gwinnett square apartments which is going to be 1253 a month in duluth autumn vista apartments is going to be 1362 a month the eclipse apartment is going to be 1283 a month Summit Station is going to be $12.79 a month. Ivana Courts is going to be $1,358 a month. Amber Lake Village is going to be the cheapest one on the list for $1,200 a month. And last but not least, we have Bridgewater Apartments, which is $1,300 a month. Personally, I feel like this is not bad. I feel like Duluth is a really affordable area compared to most areas that you're going to come across like Marietta or um, I probably do Marietta next, but compared to like Marietta or Brookhaven or whatever it is. So Duluth is affordable. I know that you guys hear $1,300, $1,200 and think that that's a lot, but honestly the market and i say this all the time the market in atlanta is really going up like it is going up steady every day so get these prices while you can this is the perfect time to start apartment hunting with the new year coming in you know if you want a fresh start and you're considering moving to atlanta do just that do not let anybody stop you from accomplishing your goal so next i am going to do a video on um marietta which is far north super far north of georgia we're going to talk about that next so check out that that video will be coming sometime this week but like i said in the beginning of the video if you guys have not already done so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell thank you so much for, for supporting your girl keep up with me in 2022 and i will see you guys next time bye